Hey everyone, it's Chris here from Everyday Savalgi, and today we are reviewing the Sofern C8G, a uh, 21700 C8 style flashlight that's got a few more features than the regular C8. It's got a side switch, uh, which includes a ramping mode, which is pretty cool. So um, basically, you can pick up the Sofern uh, C8G from a few places. I got mine from um, AliExpress. Uh, cost me about 22 US dollars. Um, it does come in two models, but right now they're only selling one. It either comes in a um, SST40, which is what I've got here. You can see that's the SST40 there, or the Cree XPO HI. No, the Cree XHP35 HI, um, which is supposed to be the one I thought I was getting, but then they ended up sending this one. So I'm not sure what was wrong with the listing or. What not, but yeah, still a pretty good buy for the 22 US dollars that you pay. Um, so the main thing that I wanted this light for was the fact that it holds a 21700 instead of a 18650, um, which works out a little bit better because I brought these Molly cells and they're a little bit more powerful than your standard 18650. It does come with an 18650 holder, so yeah. Um, you can use whichever batteries you want in there, either 21700 or 18650. Um, its length is 150 mils in length, so a little bit longer than a standard C C8. Uh, its head di diameter is 44.6 mils. It weighs 163 grams, so overall it is a tiny bit bigger than your standard C8s, as you can see. But overall, not too much difference considering that it is fitting in the 21700, it isn't actually too, too bad. Um, made out of aerospace aluminum alloy, as you would expect, as always. Um, it's got AR coated glass, and it's using an SMO reflector, as you would expect. Um, you can get some C8s with OP style rear reflectors, but they're not that common considering the C8 size. Um, the driver itself has reverse pol polarity protection, so if you were to give it to like a flashlight noob, it should be pretty sweet. It's also got ATR, which is advanced temperature regulation, which lets the light step down once it reaches 50 degrees Celsius. Um, it's also got like a battery indicator, so you turn it on, um, it'll stay green for five seconds if the battery is good. If it's red, it means low power. Red flashing, it means not enough power, so the power is like too low. And it also auto shuts off at 2.7 volts. So yeah, so the main reason why buying this light is the um, fact that it uses a uh, 21700 and the fact that it's got ramping. So we'll check out the ramping now. So its lowest ramping mode is 10 lumens and max highest ramping is supposed to be 2000 lumens. So you can see ramping isn't too bad. It's no ore drill or fancy ramp but it isn't too bad overall. So 2000 lumens on its highest mode and 80 CD. It's also got a uh, rear clicky so you can lock it out. Um, it's also got like a standby mode you can put it on. So right now that's on standby mode. Um, when the light's on, when the light's off, if you, if you double click, oh, that will get you straight into turbo mode. So pretty cool there. Um, my one thing I don't like about this light is, turn off is the fact that when it's on standby mode, the light doesn't stay green. The green light should stay on. It'd be pretty cool if it did. Then, you know, if you put it somewhere when it's dark or if it's in a dark room and you've got to find it, it'll make it much easier. Um, overall, the build quality is really good. It's just as good as a normal C8, if not better. Um, so it is hard anodized. Um, it doesn't say what type, but it's definitely type three. It's not too shiny or too dull. Nice knurling, nice cutout for the, um, for the fins, it is pretty hefty, so it will stay cool for quite a while. Um, the build quality is great, as I've already said. It's a little bit harder to get apart than the standard C C8s. I've got really no point of showing you guys. I've got a lot of videos where I already take apart C8 lights. So if we go here, you can see that's the driver there. Uh, it's using a retaining ring, which is always good. Um, this is the Molly cell here. Um, unlike a lot of other C8s, it's actually IPX rated. This is IPX rated to 8, so they reckon it can stay underwater, which is pretty good. Um, the threads are really thick, well lubed, and they've got a O-ring there. 
undo the back. Um, another O ring there. Threads well cut. Double spring, which I still done a bypass to. So it does have double springs that are gold plated at the back. At the front, it's only a single spring. And I bypass that one. We can actually get the head off. And that's the MC PCB there. Standard 20 mils. Driver is um, 17 mils too. You can see it is built really well. It's even got the uh, ins insulation disc there. So nothing shorts out on each other. Um, and 17 mil driver. And of course the side switch. So yeah, overall it's a really well built light. Okay guys, so we got the Sofren CAG on. Um, right now outside checking it out um, probably on like in between mode to be honest this looks like five six hundred lumens um, it does have the ramping mode and it also has a mode where you can choose your own modes I should say a mode sele selection mode if you're gonna buy a light with a side switch and it's got a ramping just use the ramping like why are you gonna bother using like a clicky switch or it's not a clicky switch the side switch but it's just easier to ramp it usually and you know you got shortcuts like straight to turbo like that so it makes it like a lot easier so that's turbo mode there um you can see it lights up the whole backyard very easy if we go to the trees that are pretty far down you can see them I'm not sure how well you guys will be able to see them on camera but i can see them very clearly so we'll just go back to the yard now um, you can see my wire that I've hung up in the backyard. That's for shortwave radio. So I picked up a station from mainland Spain last night. I was going to upload it, but I haven't had a chance yet. And I'm not sure how many people actually want to watch it. Um, we'll ramp down a bit. So we'll ramp down. Actually, once you stop clicking ramp down, it'll ramp back up. So now it's still going down, actually. Now it's ramping back up. So we'll just ramp down the whole way. I'll show you how fast it goes. So that's ramping down. It's not like super quick. That's the lowest mode there. You can see it's on. Like if we go here. It's supposed to be like about 10 lumens. So you've still got plenty of light. It's not like a moonlight super low light mode. But it's not overly too bright. Considering it is a thrower. It might be a little bit too bright to use as like a night light or something. So we'll ramp back up. We'll go back down there. Still on a pretty low mode now. We'll just ramp up the whole way. Uh, I've got a few CAT with me, so we will compare it to the one with the um, XHP 50.2 and see how it does side by side. Okay guys, because this is old school and I've got to click my modes, I'll turn on the uh, XHP 50.2 light. First, so that's the XHP 50.2 and double click. This is the Sofren C8G here, and this is the XHP 50.2 C8. So you can see the um, actually the um, my C8, the one with the XHP 50.2, actually has a sliced dome. So throw isn't still comparable, the SSD 40 will still out throw it, but it does kind of help it a little bit. So there we are, side by side. Not bad actually. It holds its own. It's supposed to be 2000 lumens, and um, you can see the uh, other CA just step down. I'll step it back up. I think the battery's getting a bit low on this one too. I was just using it the other day. Alright, I've got a C8 with the Osram in it, and we'll compare them side by side. Should be quite a big difference actually. Alright, guys, this is the Sofa and C8G on here to the left. And to the right, we've got that um, other C C8 with the um, Osram. As you can see, it throws, it out-throws it by like a country mile. But it's nowhere near as bright. So if we just put on the um, Osram by itself, that's how bright the Osram is on the highest mode. Well, actually, that's the highest mode there. It doesn't really make much of a difference. And that's the sofa in there. But, you know, one's throw and one's not quite as throwy. Um, Alright guys, so that's the Sofren CAG pretty much wrapped up. Um, basically, pretty good light all around. Uh, built well. A few different driver options. If you like the side switch, it might be worth your time and money. Um, I would still rec recommend it, even though I'm not a big fan of side switches. 
I feel like if it had, you know, that light that could just stay on, it would be a little bit more usable. Actually, the head's starting to get pretty hot right now. I feel like if it had, like, kind of that kind of light. But it's still a great round, uh, great all-round uh, C8, built well and reasonably priced. Um, so, as always, like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.